And so I think we're in a re really weird point in technology because we're at a point where we are not yet in virtual reality, but we're almost in virtual reality. So yeah. we're stuck in this midpoint. So everyone is having their cell phones and they're yeah. like, they're, they're stuck on their cell phone, but they're so close to being immersed within that cell phone. The, the, the technology is getting even smaller. Yeah. But the next step is just Google Glass and the, and the yeah. contacts, and then it goes to their brain, right? And then by that time, you would be immersed with it, like you said before. That would not be even leaving deep, your house. Right? Yeah, yeah, that would be a deep, the, the, we would be on Wait, the deep. Wait, did we talk about this before? No, like earlier you said yeah. our technology is not even deep because we're not immersing it with our Wait. bodies and our minds. Do you think it'll get to a point where we're, we're plugged into the virtual world every single day? Like, oh yeah, of course. Like non-stop. We're just oh, in yeah. our houses. Yeah, that's what, like it's just all artificial. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You like, you, you act through an avatar or like a surrogate. What I'm saying is Do you that think that's the future. Yeah, that's not for the future. Do, I people think. will accept surrogates like not leaving your house. Using a surrogate. Well, the people accept like talking to people, like having your identity based on online, like, online on Facebook, and talking to another person. If you tell another person, a uh, hundred years ago, you're gonna be talking to your girlfriend you never met before <laughs> online, they're gonna think you're crazy, right? So and now you can even bang your girlfriend through an app. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I'm saying that, so, 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 so we're, you know, we're in a point where it's like 3D movies. You know how 3D movies, a lot of people don't like it. Yeah. It's because 3D movie is kind of 3D but not really it's like in between it's not really 3D because you know it's, it's still flat mm -hmm. but you wear glasses and it sort of pops out but mm -hmm. it doesn't really pop out but if you completely immerse yourself in virtual reality if you can wear like a virtual reality goggle or wear like a contact that will see a movie and you can you will in it, yeah that you can touch Brad Pitt and then you can that, will be, that, okay. that will be the real world yeah. so we're at the point where we're almost at the tipping point of singularity once yeah. we get through it maybe they will go back to being in real life because virtual world will be real okay, life. Okay, so if you're so right if you're now happy, yeah. if you're if you do you think if you're happy in the the virtual world, that's good enough. Like if you can be happily immersed, even though it's a lie, even though it's it's something a fantasy, yeah. but, but if it feels it's so, so real. Yeah. Do you think? I think most people will okay? be happy. I, I, I think most people will happy, but they there's still like a tiny portion of, in the very back. Like the back, back, back side of the mind, like a tiny little piece of their mind that will tell it's, not, it's real. not real, right? So, because I was thinking about how, like, you know, you watch porn, and, yeah. you, you, and porn fucks you up because your brain thinks it's real. Yeah. You, you, the brain thinks you're fucking a ten out of ten girl yeah. every night, yeah. and it fucks you up because when you fuck a real girl in real life, which is not a ten, you can't get an erection yeah. because you, you, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. the image producing your brain, your visual cortex is the, it's, it's really not that much different between looking at the screen and then looking at real life. Yeah. Right? yeah. So this is not an example. You know how like you know how like um you know animation like cartoons mm -hmm. used to be really cool, right? People don't watch animations anymore. Like animation was so not real before that yeah. people totally accept this animation and yeah. kids laugh because yeah. they know it's not real and they yeah. accept that. But now the animations are becoming so real. Yeah, why like, are they trying to make it yeah, look so real? Yeah, exactly. So when they're making it so real, but they don't have the technology look to make it look exactly like real life. Like, you, you know the yeah. Tom Hanks movie? Yeah. The Polo Express yeah. or whatever? It's like almost real, right? Yeah. But that movie did horrible. Yeah. Because people because it's so close to real, but it's not yet real. It's not. It's almost at the tipping point, but yeah. not yet. That's why we're at the technology right here. That's why Freud. Freud Dude, says, isn't it gonna be crazy when the technology makes perfectly animated stuff like it looks oh. real, exactly real? Yeah, isn't but, that gonna yeah. be freaky? Like you can yeah. fake so much stuff. Like people will start faking other people's like murders and stuff, oh, and, yeah. and have like fakes. Like you can actually fake animate something to look exactly real. Yeah, and in the future, there's gonna be a lot more crime, like cyber crimes, a lot. You know. Like someone is gonna, like someone could just make a fake franking like sex video. Right, right. Your face, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be pretty weird. I, I don't know how we handle that, but, but, but. Okay. The future is grim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so excited though. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's good. It can, you can do a lot of crazy stuff, but there's gonna be a lot of fucked up shit yeah, too. Yeah, of course. That's how the internet is. It is so much, so much fucked up stuff yeah. on the internet. Like if you think about it, but there's in so the much future, good stuff too. When drones become legal and yeah. we see drones everywhere, dude, somebody is. People are just gonna kill each other everywhere, like, you know. Like you I don't just, think people are gonna kill each other. But everywhere. some people will. You like, there's always a black market. You know what I mean? Like, if someone wants somebody to die, like, there's gonna be so many ways. Like, even if you have an AI robot go right. over and push someone to a subway, like, anything could happen. The future is crazy. Like, I don't even think sci-fi movies talk about technology this much. They don't. They show like really cool things, like, like vending machines walking around and shit. Mm -hmm. But they won't show this this grim reality that might come. Which is weird because in books they really do show you. Like, you know, 1984. Mm. That whole, the whole book seems like super future technology, right. but we're actually living in it right now. You know pretty what much, I mean? yeah. Oh, you know, for it, he had a he had a theory called the uncanny. It's a really interesting theory. He said he wrote about dolls, like like uh, like mannequins. Mm -hmm. He thinks mannequins are creepy by default. People look at mannequins like really good looking mannequins, mm -hmm. like mannequins that look like real people. 
and people feel this uncanny, he calls it uncanny kind of feeling. You feel like creeped out, right? That is because that is the state of our technology. We're, technology is uncanny right now. It's almost real but not real. But if if those mannequins are very, very fake, like cute, like like Pinocchio, people yeah. will hug it and be yeah. like, oh, it's cute. And they'll yeah. buy it and put it in their home. But if it's like mannequin, it's real, yeah. get freaked out. Yeah, yeah. So, but if mannequin becomes real, real life, real people, then again, their the tension is released again. They become okay. So robots will have, will, will, will are going to reach that point of uncanny. Wait, but you know, robot right now. You know, robot right now yeah. are are still at the elementary stage. Yeah. Right? You have like a vacuum cleaners and shit, and like, it still looks like robot. Like, yeah. Even like my car, <laughs> the GPS, yeah. AI is all around us already. The robots today are still machines. But once the robots pass to that point of uncanny and become real, then I think th there is gonna be a point where the t robots and technology is gonna be fucking scary. But once we yeah, get beyond sure. that point, I think we can. Re Release, become released again, and and kind of you know embrace it again as real life because we would be immersed in the real again because the virtual would become the real. But the back of our mind, that little piece will still be tapping it, like in the in yeah. your sleep. Wait. It's not real. It's not real. You know when you, even you fucking you know, you know what's gonna be virtual, fucked up, babe. 